Oh, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from the 13th to the 19th of December. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Libra, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Five of Cups, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords in reverse, okay? So your biggest uh, challenge here for this coming week is the Five of Cups. There's something here about you still getting over something here that didn't work out, okay? Either you found out the truth about someone, someone here wasn't really honest with you, some sort of emotional situation has triggered you, okay? And that's your challenge. We're gonna find out more when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Emperor. So it looks like here in the recent past, there was a brand new beginning. You tried to give someone here a second chance, or maybe they tried to give you a second chance. There was a big, big desire here from you, Libra, to have stability in your life, okay? And this is why a lot of you are really adamant on having a new beginning with this person. We're going to clarify and find out more in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Nine of Cups, you have the Five of Pentacles, and you have the Knight of Wands, okay? So for many of you, what I'm really strongly getting here in the present moment is a lot of you are still dealing with somebody here who's been in and out of your life okay fire sign leo sagittarius aries or somebody who embodies this energy now keep in mind if your person is not a fire sign doesn't mean it's not your person it's the energy okay a lot of you watch the channel and uh you know i i mention um oh it's a, it's a fire sign aries you know leo sagittarius your person may not be that sign okay it's the energy so in the present moment you're dealing with somebody who's in and out of your life okay or they're younger than you or they're a player or you don't know where you stand with them okay there's a lot of fear in the present moment because you think this person might leave you or they may might disconnect for some of you this person has already disconnected from you okay and as a result of this person disconnecting or being in and out um, of your life, a lot of you are learning self-love in the present moment, okay? We're going to find out more when we clarify. Now, in the near future, you have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Cups. A lot of you are going to realize what it is that you truly want in the near future, okay? Because you're going to be confronted with things that you don't want. And that's the first step, Libra, in discovering what it is that you truly want for yourself. If we're not disappointed, Okay. As human beings, if we're not disappointed, how can we know what we like and what we don't like? Okay. One thing that I'm seeing here in the near future is you are going to get the truth about someone here that has been very on and off with you. For others of you, there may be an apology here or some form of forgiveness in the near future um, because there's still pain. You're still in this pain. You're still holding on to this. Okay. Or your person's still holding on to this in the near future. And like I said, in previous readings, in order for you to move on to this new um, found freedom, this new beginning, there's a need for, for forgiveness to happen. And it looks like that may be something that's happening for you in the near future. Okay. So let's uh, look at the bottom of the deck and let's see what um, you don't see coming. We have the eight of swords in reverse, queen of swords, justice, knight of pentacles, seven of swords, and the knight, the knight, the nine of swords. Okay. All in reverse. For many of you, um, it looks like there's some sort of situation in your life that hasn't been resolved. I do see that you've withdrawn yourself from the situation because you no longer want to think about it. A lot of you have been waiting for somebody, but the more you withdraw from this person, the, the, the more you stop engaging with them, the more they're likely to come towards you. I think for many of you, the reason why something here didn't work out between you and this person is because there was deception, there was lies, and a lot of you decided to release yourself from this situation by no longer thinking about it, okay? And part of you doing that is releasing the past and releasing someone here that you know it's just been very difficult you know for you to work things out with this person maybe you and them don't see eye to eye when it comes to certain things so a lot of you have decided to withdraw yourself from this person or if you haven't already you may decide to do that okay so let's get into your reading libra and let's see what's going on for you let's clarify your challenge which is the five of cups Okay, so the Five of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Six of 
uh, swords, okay? So for many of you right now, your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with deciding whether or not you want to reconcile with this person or if you want to move on to somebody new, okay? You are contemplating about cutting somebody off here or not speaking to somebody anymore. Um, and, you know, and the reason why this may be Libra is because a lot of you don't want to be in this place of sadness, okay? So it's like you're looking at yourself and you're saying, I have a choice, you know, and this is your challenge, right? Because, you know, in life we have choices and Libra, your sign represents the scales, okay? So you have two options, you have two options in terms of where you want to feed your energy, okay? You can feed your energy into becoming overly emotional about a situation that didn't work out, or you can choose to disconnect from it and find things to be happy about, okay? And the more you disconnect from this sad situation, which I know has been very difficult for you for the past either months, years, weeks, okay, whatever your situation is, the reason why this is happening is because spirit is saying you have a choice. You always have a choice. Don't feel like you don't have a choice. You always have a choice, okay? So this is your challenge. This is what I'm seeing. Now, let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the nine of wands. Okay, so the nine of wands is clarified by the two of pentacles, the 10 of wands and the strength, okay? So for many of you, what I'm really strongly getting here is um, the nine of wands energy okay in the recent past somebody here had to decide okay about whether or not they wanted to continue down this path this road i feel like the the relationship between you and this person in the past became very difficult and there was a desire to have a new beginning and restructure everything okay so that may have been something that you tried to do or may have happened in the past now in the present moment somebody here some of you are dating somebody or you're dealing with somebody who's been very on and off with you okay um, I don't feel like this person has revealed everything about themselves to you. And that may be the reason why you're still uncertain about whether or not you want to stay or go when it comes to the situation. Tell me more about this person in the present moment for Libra. So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the world, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Wands. So it looks like for many of you, this person... Um, they do want to have a relationship with you. They do see you as someone they can be in a relationship with. There's one of two things I'm seeing here. Either this person's waiting for you to end something and close the cycle out. Okay. And that's why they're still very much, you know, um, unavailable to you. Uh, because this person doesn't want to be considered an option, number one. Or number two, you could be dealing with somebody here who knows things are going to come to an end. Okay. They already know that based on the history that they've had with you. Tell me more about the five of pentacles in the present moment for Libra. The five of pentacles is clarified by the two of swords, the three of wands and the five of pentacles. Okay. So for many of you in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting that the reason why a lot of you are afraid to move to the next level when it comes to a certain relationship in your life or just things in general in your life is because a lot of you still haven't healed completely 100% from someone here who left you or abandoned you. Um, I'm really getting that there's fear here. Even if someone never left you and abandoned you before, you may have that in your mind moving forward in the present moment. Like, what if this person leaves me? What if they don't really care about me? What if this, like, there's so many questions in the present moment, okay? So for many of you, I feel like because you're dealing with these dilemmas in the present moment, a lot of you are still acting as if you're happy, acting as if you're okay but i think in reality there's things behind the scenes that a lot of you still need to deal with okay especially when it comes to a relationship or a connection that you're very much connected to so it looks like you're working on yourself in the present moment you're really focused on self right now but you still have this to deal with and that may be the reason why a decision here has to be made excuse me about what you want to do moving forward now in the near future things get really interesting okay and this is where you got to listen because this this part of the reading gets there's a situation, okay? I've been doing your readings and I remember all the signs. I remember each sign and specific messages within the readings. That's how connected I am. So for many of you, you still have someone that you need to forgive or someone here needs to forgive you or maybe you both need to forgive one another because again, I feel in your energy, Libra, you've been carrying this weight on your back um, where there's been a lot of resentment, okay? Towards a specific person. And you may watch this and say, no, I don't have resentment. Okay, but there's a reason why you're watching this reading. Okay, and I'm here to help you. So in reality, you have to be honest with yourself in the near future. This is why the Ace of Swords is here. The Ace, whenever the Ace of Swords shows up in tarot, it's like 
cutting through the lies, cutting through things that are not real, okay? This is about us being authentic with one another. Let's be real. Let's show each other who we really are. And I feel like that's what's going to happen because again, this pain, it's not going anywhere. Your reading, I think for the past few weeks has had the three of swords in every single reading. Okay. And that's telling me that there's energy of unresolved pain that you still have. Okay. Maybe with a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It doesn't matter if that person isn't one of those signs. They may embody very emotional energy. Okay, so tell me more about this Three of Swords. Why is it here? Why does it keep showing up for Libra? The Three of Swords is clarified by the Hanged, uh, the hanged Man, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, so somebody here in the near future, um, I feel, is going to want to get truth and clarity about why pain is here, okay? Um, somebody here hasn't been taking action. They're actually afraid to take action possibly towards you because they feel like you're going to reject them or you're not going to want to confront the truth. There's something here in the near future about confronting the truth and being really authentic and real, you know, not, not hiding behind this mask, Libra, okay? Not hiding behind a mask and saying, oh yeah, everything's fine when it's not. Because the more you carry this pain and the more this person carries this pain, the more there's a stain on your back, okay? The stain on the back of, look, I've had problems in the past. I've had issues that I don't, haven't resolved. You know, people don't realize even when we start new relationships or we start dealing with new people, those people energetically and spiritually can see that you still have unresolved things, okay? That's why a lot of people, you know, I'm going to tell you why a lot of people, they, they, they're in a marriage or they're in a... Uh, relationship for years and you know they break up and things don't work out and guess what they want to move on to someone new and it never works out with the new person and it doesn't work out with the new person after that and the new 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 person after that and you know why it's because of this the three of swords you know and it costs nothing to forgive it costs nothing to heal it costs nothing to speak the truth it actually costs nothing to do that, to actually pick up the phone and have a one-on-one -on -one with someone. So that's what I see happening here in the near future. The question is, are you going to be open to that? Is your person going to be open to that? Okay, so let's get some advice. The advice here for you is exactly what I've been saying now for weeks for you. Um, it's still, the energy is still here, which means a lot of you either haven't seen the reading or you haven't been taking the advice in the reading. The advice for you here is the temperance, the death and the page of wands. Okay. So for many of you, your biggest piece of advice here is prepare for an ending, prepare to completely close something out here. Okay. Be open to transition, be open to transforming something. Don't be afraid of, of an ending. Okay. Um, if you are somebody who wants something here to end, you want something to transform, be patient with yourself, be patient with the people that are involved. You know, I'm not saying just run and do whatever, you know, when it comes to dealing with this person, there's strategic ways in which to close a cycle out. Okay. There, there's a right way and there's a not so great way. Okay. So the great way here is to heal, to forgive, to have patience, um, in this ending. Don't judge. Don't be in this place of, um, you know, really the, your whole entire existence, Libra, and some of you may not agree with this, but your whole entire existence is to, he, to hear and feel what the other feels. That's what Libra is, seventh house. This is about you really stepping into the other person's shoes, okay? And that's something that a lot of you may not do, but this is something that you're being called to do because it's going to help with this transformation that you're going through, okay? Once you're able to identify how this person feels or how this person has felt, Okay, based on the history that they've had with you, just put yourself in this person's shoes, okay? That's gonna help you to look at this situation from a different perspective. And it's also gonna help you to be able to communicate how you feel and really come to the terms of what it's gonna take to close this out correctly. Because that's your biggest challenge here. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I reconcile? Should I not? You gotta figure out what you want. You can't, this indecisive energy is not gonna help you move into a new direction. Confronting it, putting yourself in the other person's shoes and strategically closing this out successfully, patiently, temperance is patience. That's what's going to lead to your new direction. Not just bulldozing through it and saying, I'm going to forget about this person, block them. And because you're just holding on to that resentment. And this, this could be a reading for all signs. Okay. 
So this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.